New health alert as the number of cases of pertussis, commonly known as whooping cough, are still rising. As we told you last week, the DHS reported more than 600 confirmed cases in the state. Pertussis can easily be spread from person to person just by coming into contact with someone who's infected. Tonight, Samantha Cavalli spoke with county health experts about the signs and symptoms to protect your family. It's definitely a public health concern throughout the state that we are seeing an increase in cases. It's something we're keeping our eye on. A warning to parents as confirmed cases of pertussis have made its way to the Fox Valley in children as young as five months old. Outagamie County Public Health reports since August there have been seven confirmed cases. Public Health Nursing Supervisor Lily Wagner says many of the symptoms can mimic the common cold, such as runny nose, fever, and sneezing. But one common symptom of pertussis is the cough itself, making a whooping sound. <coughs> Deep inhale after they've been coughing for a, like a, can be up to a minute that they're having a coughing fit and they need that deep inhale because they weren't getting oxygen. Pertussis affects people of all ages. However, many of the more severe and sometimes fatal cases can be found in children under the age of one. That's due to them not completing their DTaP vaccine series, which protects children under seven years old from diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis. Wagner recommends some kind of protection. Like with any vaccine, there's a small percentage that for some reason the vaccine isn't as effective for them. Um, so you might not have full immunity, but it should at least help decrease your symptoms so it's not as severe. She says pertussis can easily spread from person to person by coming into contact with someone who is contagious. Left untreated, those infected with pertussis are contagious for up to three weeks. With treatment, you are contagious for about five days. Wagner says to contact your health care provider to get tested and stay home. Hopefully we don't have any outbreaks where we have a whole classroom in a school that is positive. Um, our goal is to prevent that um, by getting this education out there. In Outagamie County, Samantha Cavalli, Action 2 News.